Hey folks, it's Karan from Toggle, and I'm excited to walk you through the Scenario Tool, your very own idea testing tool, available only with Toggle Pro. It doesn't require any coding and only takes a few seconds to calculate the results. Most importantly, the information is laid out in a clean and intuitive manner. The tool can be used in several ways, breaking down an insight, running it against good to knows, or creating a fresh scenario to test a hypothesis. Essentially, it allows you to dive deeper into Toggle Insights and use the power of our engine to answer any questions you may have. First, let me show you how you can access the tool. Start by searching up any asset of interest. I'm starving, so let's do McDonald's. The first page that shows up is a familiar one, the asset overview. This highlights all the information we have available for a single asset, from insights to good to knows and news insights. When you hover your mouse over to the left side of the screen, you can see the scenario tool, the blue vial icon. Here, you get a menu of all the different conditions you can run scenarios on. Think of it as, so what? For example, Toggle highlights that McDonald's market cap is at a high. So what? Click the card and hit Run Scenario Analysis. Toggle will look at all the similar episodes in McDonald's life where its stock had a high market cap and then display how the asset subsequently performed. Oh, and you can do this with any of the good to knows across all the assets we cover. Right off the bat, Toggle gives our scenario a three out of eight stars meaning that the relationship between market cap and McDonald's price is not as robust as we would like. You can hit the stars button on the top right corner to understand why the system gave it this rating. In this case, this relationship was not very robust across different business cycles, the historical data points were not the greatest, and the backtesting return showed weak accuracy and a lot of volatility. Similarly to how we rate insights, Toggle rates your scenarios too. The top chart shows you an aggregation of the historical returns but now you can view how the stock performed on a daily basis across the distribution. You can also see exact values for the top and bottom 20% of the distribution. Just like an insight, Toggle will also select the optimal trading horizon, but you can play around with this to see how the asset performed over a shorter or longer horizon. The table on the bottom left will show you the exact dates Toggle looked at and hovering over individual episodes will highlight that episode specific return. In this case, Three episodes were used to generate this scenario, November 2021, January 2022, and April 2022. The first episode led to downside as extreme as 12%, but you also need to remember that during this period, the invasion of Ukraine was going on, which caused McDonald's to close a lot of stores and thus saw its sales get cut. The second episode in January 2022, on the contrary, saw upside over the next six months, but that was partly due to McDonald's trading at a low valuation and improvements in the macro situation. Lastly, the episode in April 2022 saw downside, but only as much as 7% over the six month horizon. All in all, these three episodes tell us that whenever McDonald's market cap has reached a high, its price has usually fallen thereafter. With a catalyst like a potential world war and closing of stores, downside can be to the extreme. However, with a catalyst, let's say low valuation or a record earnings beat, we could still see upside in McDonald's stock. You can also run scenarios on insights by clicking on them from the menu here, or from within an insight as such. If you scroll down further on the left side of the menu, you can get a list of all the templates we have created for users to run fast scenarios. S&P 500 drop in price, yield curve inversion, Fed hikes, and so on. And if you're looking for something else, you can always create your own conditions. For example, with McDonald's reporting earnings this week, we want to prepare ourselves for potential price action based on the result. So first, you need to select the asset of interest, in this case, it's McDonald's. With Pro, you can access any of the 40,000 global assets we cover, including currencies and commodities. Next, select the data you're interested in backtesting against. In this case, we're going to use EPS surprise dollar difference. Then choose the condition. Are we looking at an earnings beat or miss? Since we're looking at a beat, we want earnings surprise dollar difference to be above analyst expectations. And then finally, add the value. So we want an earnings beat greater than at least one cent. So we'll put 0.01. Then hit create. But let's say we want to add a revenue beat too. So hit build your own McDonald's. Sales surprise this time is above 0.01. With the scenario tool, you can layer as many conditions as you'd like, as long as there are episodes where all conditions were met. Now we can hit run scenario analysis. Bang, look at that, we found a seven out of eight star insight. 
Not surprisingly, an EPS and sales beat has historically been positive for McDonald's stock, over a one-week horizon as high as 1.5%. But if you scroll to the scatter plot, you can hover over negative returns to understand which episodes led to downside and why that might be. For example, August 2015 led to a 4% down move even after McDonald's beat analyst expectations. But if you do a little research into that, it seems that the company also announced big changes to its food in that earnings call. You can also get a summary of each horizon and the best, worst episodes using the bottom right table. Last but not least, you can also create conditions using economic data. We have a long list of economic indicators across a wide variety of countries. In light of recent PMI reports reflecting a slowdown on the manufacturing side, has this historically been positive for Caterpillar stock? Over a six month horizon, yes. However, over a short period of time, it's actually been bearish for Caterpillar stock. However, with the company about to report earnings this week, a beat could be a catalyst for some upside in the stock. So folks, that's scenario for you. If you're interested in a free trial, drop us a note at support at toggle.ai and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Happy toggling.